everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last episode, making an EVA foam phaser rifle part one, we got the whole main body piece shaped out, we got the back body piece shaped out, built the back handle, and built the cool bottom handle. A lot of work, a lot of big major pieces. Now in this episode, making an EVA foam phaser rifle part two, we are going to knock out this whole jamming front end barrel assembly. We are going to tackle the coils, man. Woo, tons of work in the coils because we've got to do three of them. A lot of work, but super easy, totally easy. And we're going to knock out these two little plates on the side there. Gonna jam. So uh, enough of me talking. If you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this four millimeter piece and we're going to be putting a wrap right through the center of the piece like that. All right, so what we did was we did an experiment. We took a piece of four millimeter foam. We cut a bevel on this side and a bevel on this side so that we can come in. We can have this bevel cut at the bottom match right in there like that. And it's going to wrap around. It's going to come around to this side and then this bevel is going to match up and look at that. That's a perfect fit and we've got our bevels down in here that line up. All right, so we know that this piece of foam is a perfect measurement. All right. Now we know that that's going to be the perfect length where we made those two marks. Now we're going to come in and we're going to tip our knife on an angle for our bevel cut. We're going to go right through like that. And we're going to come around to this measurement and do the same thing. Go through on a bevel. All right, there we go. Bevel on this end, bevel on this end. So. We're going to get a little bit of super glue right on the end. All right, now that's stuck right down in here where the super glue is, our bevel's down. Now we can use our contact cement for the rest of it. All right, get some super glue on the end. That is crazy perfect. All right. Nice. All right, let's build this little gizmo that goes in here. All right, here we go. We've got a three millimeter and a couple 12 millimeters. All right. All right, there we go. There's the three. Now here's the 12s, okay? These are kind of thick. We're gonna go ahead over to the scroll saw and knock those out. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right. This larger one, we're gonna bevel this, all right? So we're gonna come in and we are going to use our Dremel and we're going to go from this edge to that center line right there. All right, there we go. Man, I should have worn gloves. All right, we're going to get our wide bit out. We got a nice little hollow going on the back there. Look at that, man, that is cool. All right, put some down. Some super glue on the, the riser there. Let's get it right in the center. Perfect. All right, let's get the bottom wet. Now let's get this right in the center. All right, check it out. Wow, that is really cool. It's a nice wrap around here. We've got the little recess down in this area that this little button goes into. That is really tight, man, super tight. 
Okay, we're gonna begin building the barrel assembly. We're gonna be stacking up a bunch of foam and we're gonna be doing a little detail at the top, all right? So we're gonna start with our three millimeter detail and we're gonna cut out all these little holes and then we're gonna stack a 10, a 36, and a 24 together because that's the height we need, all right? So All right, that's it. Now we just go around the whole piece. All right, there we go. Perfect. Like so. There we go. All right, now here is the angle that we're gonna have to tip our table to, this slight angle. All right, there we go. We cut all these angles off, all right? Now we're gonna have to try to smooth this, all right? So we're gonna get our Dremel out. All right, there we go. That's pretty darn clean. That is not terrible. Okay, here is the base for this piece. It's going to be a 24 millimeter, but before we cut the circle out, we want to lay it up on its side and cut this angle first. Okay, there we go. Now the reason we did that is because we want this to fit right on the front angle like that, which it's going to. But we need to keep this piece, and the reason is this. Okay, we're going to come in, we're going to put this back in place so it's a support for us, and we're going to cut this out. All right, perfect. There we go. Now, All right. All right, and here we go. We round it off the bottom of this piece, so when we stick it on, we've got that nice little gap in between it, all right? Okay, here's all the pieces that are gonna make up our barrel. Um, three millimeter, four millimeter, and 10 millimeter foam. It's all gonna to attach to this, and we're gonna be using a quarter inch wood dowel. Um, we've got our marks, so what we're gonna be doing is this, is this line right here marks where our body wrap is going to be. This line marks where there's going to be a second wrap, so it's thicker. This end space is going to be going into the front of our piece like that. All right, so we're going to go step by step through this. This three millimeter piece is going to make up our disc at the end. Looks like a little radar disc sort of a thing. So, okay, now this one cut right here on the inside. We need to cut that on a bevel, all right? And we'll show you why later. But So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in, we're gonna tip our knife on an angle, slight angle, and we're gonna go all the way through our shirt, all right? Just like that. Now, for the end cuts, we can just do straight. Tip our knife just a little bit. We're gonna go. All right, there we go. We've got a slight bevel cut this way and this way. All right, so we've got our those ready. All right, now. okay, now this 10 millimeter piece is kind of thick. We're gonna move over to the scroll saw and hit that real fast. All right, there we go, perfect. Nice little cylinder. As close to the center as we can. Just like that. All right. Push down on the rod and we're going to begin rolling it. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to roll it. We're going to get our seam together. Just like that.
All right, there we go. All right, there we go. There's our wrapped barrel. Super cool. All right, now we know where the center is. All right. We're gonna go right through the center with a really thin bit. Okay, there we go. There's our pilot hole. Now we're gonna come in with a slightly larger bit. Now we're gonna go one more. Get some contact cement on our dowel, just like that. Now we're gonna spin that around. Okay, there we go. Now what we did is we spun it around on the dowel. So the same thing is gonna happen that's happened on some of the other pieces we've done. Same thing that happened up here on this little antenna piece is we've got cement inside the cavity and the moisture content will evaporate in there and it'll stick together. So there we go, perfect. All right, we're gonna be drilling into here so that we can feed this in. All right, now we're gonna come in one last time with an even larger one. All right, now we're gonna slide it down in. There we go. All right. Okay, we've changed our mind. We've gone from a four millimeter down to a two millimeter for this little wrap down here at the bottom. And we... okay. And on this side, There we go. Wow. So far, so good. All right, now we're going to come in and we're going to do this sort of like radar dish deal on the end. All right. Our ends are cemented. Just like that. We're going to line our seam up all the way along the edge. All right, there we go. All right, we get great contact. Now we're going to leave it alone. Okay, now this is why we cut this inner cut with a bevel, because when you shape the cone like this, this edge ends up being flat, because if we wouldn't have cut it on a bevel, it would have been kind of on an angle, so now it's flat. So now we can flip it over and stick it flat down to another circle, which is what All right, there's our circle. Beautiful. That. Let's try to get it as perfect as we can get it on there. All right, there we go. There's our. All right, now we know that's the center. All right, there we go. Now we know that's going to be right in the center when we stick it down. Pow! There it is. So we've All right, now we're using a brass tube to poke out another six millimeter piece. Perfect. All right, we're gonna come in here with our excess foam rivets. Let's find the one that we want. All right, here we go. Here's a little, little peewee one. All right, there we go. Look at that. Three little circles. That's why it pays to keep all your extra little rivets. All right, check it out. We're gonna get rid of some of this bump right here. All right, there we go. Very smooth. That's not bad at all. All right. There's our mark at the front. Now let's not stick it down. Let's come around to this side. Make sure we're lining up at the front. 
just like that. And there we go. Look at that. Got the flat front, so this can come right in. Right on there. All right. <laughs> Down there, let's spin it around, make sure we're in a good spot. And all right, there we go. Beautiful, that is so cool. Love it, man, love it. Okay, now we're gonna begin doing the assemblies that go inside of our clear tubes, okay? And what we're gonna be doing is this. We're gonna be using a 24 millimeter foam dowel. We're gonna be using a two millimeter piece for a wrap. And we're going to be coming in with this thin little four millimeter EVA foam dowel. All right, so we're going to get prepared, make some marks, and then show you how to do it. Okay, what we did was we did a test wrap around our dowel so that we knew how long the piece needed to be. And here's the length right here. We transferred it over to our two millimeter piece of foam, and then we drew our lines every three eighths of an inch. Okay, which is what these little tiny foam dowels are gonna be for, all right? But we're not gonna leave them like that. We're gonna come in. You've seen us do this before. We're gonna split it right down the middle. All right, there we go. Let's bring it over to the other side. All right, there we go. Split it right in half. Now we have a nice half round, okay? It's flat on one side and round on the other. And then we're gonna come in and we're gonna use the lines and we're gonna stick them down just like that. So we've got a nice row of half rounds on there. All right, all right, we're gonna come in here with our super glue, put a little bead down about halfway across. That's simple. We have our half rounds laid down. Doesn't matter if it's crooked outside of the line, we're gonna be cutting that off. That's it. Take your time, go all the way down. All right, there we go. There's all of our half rounds stuck down. Now, all right, we're gonna come in. Now remember, since we're wrapping it, we need to cut a slight bevel on the end. So we're gonna tip our knife just a little bit and roll right through on an angle. And we're going to apply it right down the center just like that. All right, let's go ahead and get our first one together right here in the middle. And we'll line up our second one. All right, there we go. We've got our seam together, and now we're anchored down here. That is crazy. Seven inch long is what we want. Okay, so we're gonna come in here, and then there. All right, now we're gonna go over to the bandsaw. We're gonna knock those two spots off. All right, now we're going to be coming in with some six millimeter pieces to build bases for the end. All right, there we go. There's our... All right, there we go. Now we know it's going to be right in the center when we stick it down. Okay, there we go. There's our coil assembly, all right? Now we're gonna do one more base piece on the end. And what we're gonna do is this, is that base piece has to fit right inside here very tightly. So let's see if we can get a perfect circle here. Perfect, there we go. All right, so we've got our coil. We've got our two end pieces, and now we're going to cut this off on the bandsaw. All right, there we go, nice. Now this is gonna come in here. These are going to 
fill in on the end and trap it right inside just like that. Man, is that cool. That All those steps now you need to do two more times. We have to... All right, there we go. There's three of them. Holy smokes, man. We did our wrap around all three. We attached the increasingly larger pieces on both ends of them, and now we've got three of them. Tons of work, but not hard. Totally easy. All right, now we're going to come in. We're going to take our Dremel. We're going to slightly round just this top edge off on this large bottom piece on all three. All right. All right, there we go. We just slightly soften that top edge on all six of these ends. Okay, now we've got these two three millimeter pieces. These are gonna go on both ends and they're gonna hold these right in there like that. All right. Nice smooth curve. As long as the knife is standing straight up, you'll be good. Nice little round corners in there. Really cool. And that happens by standing the knife straight up so you're using the smallest part of the tip and you can do a nice tight pivot. All right, now we'll do this one next. All right, there's two. Okay, now we've got a group of pieces here that are going to make up two matching assemblies. Okay, we've got 12 millimeter, 6 millimeter, three millimeter and then we took this two millimeter foam and we took a simple hole punch and we popped out these tiny little rivets okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to cut out these three millimeter pieces of foam we're going to all right that's out okay put a tiny little puddle we're going to take these little rivets we're going to get the bottom wet All right, there we go. Little rivets in the corners, super easy stuff. And now we're gonna change from a six millimeter piece of foam to a four, okay? Because the four will fit right down in that opening perfectly. All right? Bob. Perfect. Making a nice switch for us. Perfect. All right, there's our switch. All right, there's our mark where it's gonna stick down. Right there. Let's hold it down while it bonds. Let's put a piece over it. There we go. All right, there we go. We've got that base down, the switch side and the base. All right, now we're going to add to the base. Okay, now we're going to take a leftover six millimeter piece of foam. We're going to take our brass tube. We're going to poke out a few perfect holes. All right, there we go. That's a perfect little round piece. We're going to come in with our Dremel and we're going to round this over, all right? That's what we wanted, a perfect circle. All right, now we're gonna come in with our heat gun. We're gonna seal it, it's gonna tighten it up. You saw how easy that was, that was totally simple. All right, there we go, look at that. Perfect round button. Okay, now we're going to do two more. All right, we've got our spot marked on this piece and on this piece, but we're going to glue. Carefully line up our piece with our marks right there and right there. All right, there we go. Let's All right, there we go. Beautiful. That's it. All right, now we've got our platforms that our three inner dowels are going to come off of. 
that's gonna be crazy. Whew, man oh man, that was a lot of work on the coils. But like we said, easy, tons of work, but easy. Um, so you saw everything go down nicely. We've got the whole front assembly built. You saw our cool little truncated cone there that we wrapped it around and it kind of flares out like that. Pretty cool. Um, we did our two little plate details there, rounded off our little three little knobby things there. I don't know what they are. They're space knobs or something. Um, and we're in good shape. Uh, we are now ready, almost ready to assemble this whole thing, okay? So next time around, we are going to finish up the build, we're gonna seal it, we're gonna paint it, and we're gonna assemble it. That's next time. So, that concludes Making an EVA Foam Phaser Rifle Part Two. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel, and together we're gonna go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming, see you next time.